Okay, we're going to take a look at number 13. The first thing I'm going to look at is what do I know? I see a Y here and I see a Y here. But over here, I see an X and an X. So I want to work with the like terms first. So I'm going to erase this. And I'm going to work with the X's only first. I'm going to forget about the Y's for a minute. So I'm going to work with just this angle and this angle. So I know this is a straight line. And a straight line equals 180. And I know these are adjacent angles. So that means this angle plus this angle equals 180. So I have angle 1 plus angle 2 equals 180 because they're supplementary. So I'm going to plug in what I know. And I have 4x plus 10 plus 3x minus 5 equals 180. And then I'm going to combine like terms. So I have 7x plus 5 equals 180. Then I'm going to opposite operation, so subtract 5 from each side, and I get 7x equals 175. Then the opposite of multiplying is dividing. So I'm going to divide by 7 to start getting that x, and I'm going to start writing over here, that x by itself. So the 7 cancels out, and then 175 divided by 7 is 25. So I have found that my x equals 25. Now I'm going to do this same thing, but with the other angles. So I'm going to erase this. I want to find Y now. So I'm working with this straight line and these two supplementary angles, because straight line equals 180. So angle 1 plus angle 2 equals 180. I'll move this up some. So now I'm going to plug in 2y plus 28 plus 4y plus 26 equals 180. Then I'm going to combine like terms. 2y plus 4y is 6y. And then 28 plus 26 is 54 equals 180. Then I'm going to subtract 54, and I get, and I'm going to draw over here what my answer is, 6y equals 126. Then the opposite of multiplying is dividing, so I get y equals 21. 